Tad viens vien mēs ordinēs īpratu nācijā to dokumentu, to tūkvēt ir perspēti. It's been two years since he has been pleading for this very opportunity. He took this fight on since Floyd Mayweather beat Canelo Alvarez. And we have been talking about the ability of this fight. And Chris, you talked to Eric Terrence Crawford, Tafima Lopez. Hey, what about Devin Haney? This is a fight that we said, hey. They left Canelo at five foot nine. To see if he is accepting of that pace in this fight. Body shot there by Callum Smith. There is something to going in and fighting in the big event. Sap you of energy. Canelo trying with the hook and a jab. Uppercut tried there by Callum Smith. Fell short. Trying to measure him. And there's... Ryder was able to walk right to him and land shots. He knows he cannot. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. And while Canelo has landed more and maybe won that round as he's in this fight. in and Callum knew that, so it was a small Zaggy back in London, so we've got you covered here. Round number two, and Callum Smith, we believe winning that first round, but Smith no, getting... Of, uh, he threw a little bit more punches. Body shot landed by Canelo as we start right away. Ryan, you know. Ryan we've got to get to round three <laughs> before you start questioning my score. It is, uh, no. Again, Callum Smith, uh, he will fight tall, but he does not use that long stick to keep his man at bay. He likes to get here deeply in front of him. He tries the uppercut to the body. That landed right on the belt line. Jab snaps back the head of Callum Smith. And Let's see if they engage. Smith for being, having such a long reach. Yes, a few. Most of that first round, according to copy box, that would favor the six foot three fighter in the ring and not the five foot eight fighter. Pawing Callum Smith could be in for a very rough night. Right. That right hand, a liver shot in the ninth, and it was a destruction. Wild focus shot. Focus kind of coming into the round. He threw a home run left hook looking for the fences right there on Smith. It's cagey couple of rounds to start with. Um, I believe that, um, as you can see, Canelo's trying to close that range for the big hook. Smith needs to be more assertive with that jab and start getting a bit busier. I mentioned there's some uh, anti-UK bias. Well, look, you did fell well in England, but that's not going to hold up. Kessler. Bernard Hopkins, and then eventually a past his prime, Roy Jones. A fighter in Canelo Alvarez, international superstar from Mexico. Uh, up a big shot. Canelo trying to cut off the ring, and he does, and he lands a right hand. And you know Callum Smith doesn't want to quite engage as he takes a shot there to the head. Dangerous. Good jab there by Canelo in a right hand. Two jabs both land from Canelo and close in. Able to step out, make Smith miss with the left and the right. Jab again in a right hand from Canelo. Sergio, he's closing the gap now. He's been closing the gap in the other right now. This is what Canelo could explode. The Smith family is a little bit further through. He's riding it, and if you lose the right hook, come up with jab after it straight away, all right? In the fight with Sergey Kovalev, I don't know if you guys remember, fans began to... He's one of Canelo, Canelo's best attributes. He did it to Kovalev in sort of baiting him with that compensated, and Canelo hit him with that left hook. Hard right hand there. You know, Callum Smith just landed, and that was a nice shot, but Canelo comes back, and he is throwing much harder right now. Gets Callum Smith up on the ropes. Lands Stop. a right hand. He needs to stand, and he needs to trade and land combinations, and that's dangerous. Tries with the body shot, partially blocked. Hard right hand by Canelo. It is amazing when you look at him, Canelo with the hook, that when he was a champ at 154, he really brings the power to this weight class. Shots because uh, both of them are very good at counter punching. They're all and also just Smith just trying to put a punch out there to use as a blinder and keep him at bay with the one-two. Moving in on his man. He starts to mark up the face of Callum Smith, the champion. And a decent Sergio uppercut in this round, but he can't take too many shots like that. that. Enough, of course, he throws a great jab oh, and a great left hook. That's a good uppercut by Canelo Alvarez. Yeah. That's what they're telling Canelo. That's what Eddie Reynoso said that he's going to be going down. Look, that's a solid yeah, doing pot shots. Both of them are looking for counter punches. They're both excellent counter punches, but right now, Smith needs to be a little bit more. He's trying again here, Joe, and this is much better. He's got to let him fight. He does. He's back up against the ropes, and that's the worst thing. With you, back in London. And there's Callum, light heavyweight champion of the world, man who knocked out Roy Jones. Smith is going to have to do that. He lands a jab there on Canelo and tries the uppercut. So a little more in the sixth round. Yeah, Callum Smith not only has a record for throwing uh, a lot of guys the size of Callum Smith. You wonder if Callum Smith has the pop to drive Canelo back. He, he probably he can't push Canelo back. This entire fight, we've only seen Canelo coming forward. Callum Smith hasn't imposed the size or uh, Callum Smith. Also, Sergio, nice uppercut there by Callum Smith. He tries with the hook. 
could quick combination. Even when he blocked that right hand, there's a good uppercut from Canelo. It drove him back. Smith so back. easily like Canelo, it's because there's a lack of respect in the openings. He, he hasn't gotten respect from Canelo. Derek Davies. But uh, on occasion, a judge may do that, but it's not recommended. Hard body shot right there. It is 10 points. You start to do that on a regular basis, and Chris, you're scoring a lot. You, you, you'll know you'll do half your rounds 10 10. You just have to make a choice. Canelo. Uppercut from Canelo. Anthony Joshua, big uppercut to the knockout of Pulev. Last night, Gennady Golovkin landed his. Great weapon. Yeah, no question. I think Davis, that, 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 Javante Davis uppercut. It's like a bazooka. It's amazing. Long right hand by Canelo, and he gets out of trouble. Sergio Arnolo, great. He makes you not want to punch. Cruising round for Canelo Alvarez. Clean right uppercut. Right there. Right there, and nothing comes back from the counter punch. You had a blocking oh, counter oh, with the oh, same hand. None of that is coming out of Canelo's right That's why it's not the body. So you knew with the physical matchup, 6-3 and 5-8. So of course he's going to the body, and effectively. That shot's blocked, but that right hand is such a tight package coming at you. And then when you throw a shot, if he's able to move it. Chavez Jr., if you remember that, right wash. He just stood against the ropes. Fast hands make you want to not punch. Good combination there by Just missed that right hand. Doubling up, taking shots and saying, no, I'm going to keep walking in. He rolled with that right hand. No, it did. Cutting right hand, they're popping on each other, laying the wood to each other, and if they both do that, I think we know a lot to do. Tries with the uppercut. And he waits till he's in range. Nice right hand by Smith and an uppercut, but Canelo is able to get underneath the hook. Beautiful weave. Canelo is just a struggle now, I think. Um, Canelo Smith is doing his punches. He's getting backed up on the ropes, the uppercuts, the hooks. You know, they're taking his toll. Show a lot of from the world champion Joe Calzone. Let, let him either go out like a champion, fight like a champion, or last the distance like one. Fighter, make that decision. And I don't think Callum Smith will. But he is wilting under these shots. Canelo, hard right hand by Alvarez, and a body shot as well. I think I was doing all right. Yeah? yeah. To be honest, man, everything else, yeah. Hit and roll, hit low all the time. And if you do the bigger man back, these, these shots are being blocked, but they're still being punishing. They're still blooding the nose and discouraging the bigger man. That he's been feeling it. How much will does Callum Smith have his weight class? Uh, Canelo Alvarez winning, and Callum Smith is taking a beating. Look, I, I see Callum Smith wilt, wilting away. Weakening. I don't see it, the fight. See, he's coming off the ropes. He's still punching. You got to give a champion the benefit of the doubt. Canelo. Body shots as well. Smith here. But Canelo Alvarez, a hard hook. Uh, he is at the yeah. super. We'll talk about Canelo's chin. Good chin he has. Back in the day, from his early fights. Right hand. That hurt Smith. So that it was good, so that's how you know it was good. He's also not built that way, Sergio. Right? No, just he, two, he's just two games. Super middleweight championship of the world. Canelo Alvarez comes out firing. He is looks. And Canelo has bullied Smith the entire fight. He will try to go for the knockout. Snapping jab from Canelo Alvarez and a right hand. Up face from Callum Smith. He fires back with his own combination. Even the body shots too, and that's a lot of will and conditioning. Because he has taken the able to stand up to it. Can he stay on his feet? For another... Canelo winging shots throughout this fight. Combinations from Canelo. Right hand. Best punchers. Canelo saw it coming a mile away. That is, that's something. Final 30 seconds. Callum Smith did everything he could in this fight. Bad style matchup. Canelo Alvarez with the look of a three the super middleweight champion of the world. He won a belt at 75, but that's not the world championship. This was. This will make Canelo Alvarez a legitimate four division world champion. No, three. That's three. 154, 160, 168. Judges had it 11 rounds to one or nine rounds to three. Three rounds sounds generous, not out of the realm of possibility, but it was not a close fight. Canelo Alvarez is the...